G'day guys, Dave Lee coming at you once again. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the recent home media release of Finding Your Feet on DVD and Digital HD from Entertainment One. Finding Your Feet is an incredibly charming British comedy drama focusing on two sisters in the later years of their lives. Lady Sandra, a snobby socialite living in West London, and Biff, a working class citizen living in an inner city council estate. When Sandra discovers her husband is having an affair, she moves in with Biff and the two are forced to live together with clashing lifestyles. Sandra soon comes to learn, however, that a change of lifestyle may be exactly what she needs to turn her life around. I reviewed Finding Your Feet for Entertainment One earlier in the year and scored it a 4 out of 5. If you'd like to check my full detailed review of the movie itself, click the link in the top right corner of your screen right now, or click through the hyperlink at the end of the video. In Australia, Finding Your Feet has only received a physical release on DVD. While there's unfortunately no Blu-ray release in Australia, a digital HD version can be purchased or rented through the iTunes store as an option for those who wish for an HD version of the film. The film is, however, available on Blu-ray, DVD and digital over in the UK. Thanks to Entertainment One, I have taken a look at both the DVD and the digital HD version of this movie, the latter of which should be a good representation of how the UK Blu-ray will be presented. Finding Your Feet is a really sweet, warm movie with a visual landscape to match. It's beautifully shot with really nice cinematography. Typical of a movie filmed in London, Finding Your Feet has a very muted colour palette that makes nice uses of pale blues, oranges and purples, giving the movie a really nice warmth, which definitely complements the movie's narrative tone. The HD version of the movie is obviously a mark above the SD DVD version in terms of presentation. It offers better clarity and a much crisper, cleaner image, and those beautiful colours are deeper, warmer and more comforting. But as you can imagine, for a film of its kind, it's not by leaps and bounds. Both the DVD and the HD copy feature a Dolby Digital 5.1 surround track, which comparatively sound fairly similar, with a really nice natural sound design and a gorgeously uplifting score. The HD copy of course has a slight added depth, but there's no enormous differences. As far as DVD presentations go, I couldn't imagine this looking any better in standard def, and will score Finding Your Feet's DVD presentation a 5 out of 5. The HD copy presentation, which again should be representative of the UK Blu-ray presentation, is great, but doesn't fully show the best of what the format can offer. Especially considering the movie's muted tones and soft appearance, this isn't the fault of the presentation, but more so the natural look of the film itself. Aside from this, it would have been especially nice for the HD version of this movie to have been presented with a 7.1 surround track, though not essential. Taking all of this into account, I would score Finding Your Feet's overall Blu-ray presentation a 4 out of 5. Please allow me to note that though I rate the DVD presentation a 5 and the HD presentation a 4, this does not mean that the DVD presentation is better than the HD. These scores should be looked at as relative to their own format. Naturally, the HD presentation is my preferred viewing experience of the film. The physical DVD release offers a selection of 14 cast and crew interviews with the film's stars, director, producers, writers, production designer, costume designer, location manager and assistant choreographer. These run at a little under an hour all up and offer a small insight into the film's production. A majority of these interviews consist of the actors and filmmakers summarising their characters and the storyline, most of which you already know if you've watched the movie. The best interviews in this lot come from the movie's production team, such as the designers, location manager and choreographer. These provide small tidbits into the more creative elements of the filmmaking process and a small insight into the behind the scenes of a smaller movie of the kind. But again, these are nothing that are really all that revelatory or interesting. I feel like these interviews were a missed opportunity to provide a better look into the making of this movie. I would have also welcomed a small 10 to 15 minute behind the scenes featurette. While I do appreciate Entertainment One's effort to provide us with nearly an hour's worth of interviews, which really is a rarity these days, especially for a smaller movie like this, due to the tendency of these interviews to be somewhat tedious and very repetitive, I'll be given the selection of special features on the DVD release a 2.5 out of 5. The digital release, however, features only a small selection of these interviews, running at around 35 minutes all up, featuring only those of the cast, director and producers, unfortunately omitting the more interesting ones. Because of the very strange decision to exclude the better half of these interviews, I'll be giving the selection of special features on the digital HD version of this movie a 2 out of 5. 
Once again, Finding Your Feet is available on both DVD and Digital HD right now in Australia. The movie will also be available on both formats as well as on Blu-ray over in the UK thanks to Entertainment One in both territories. I also believe a DVD of the movie will be available in the United States courtesy of Sony Pictures. I wouldn't exactly call this a lacklustre release. On one hand, we are given much more in the way of supplements than you'd expect for a film of its kind. But on the other hand, what we are offered isn't really all that great. I'm also incredibly baffled as to why only the lesser half of these features are available on the more impressive digital HD version of the movie. Don't however dictate whether you purchase the DVD or digital HD version based on these supplements because I could easily take them or leave them. Featuring a beautiful and warm transfer, this is a movie that is best watched in HD, which is again my preferred viewing experience, but if you're a stickler for physical like me and you have no other option, the DVD should suffice. Thanks once again to my wonderful friends over at Entertainment One for not only providing me with a DVD copy of the movie, but also with a digital HD screener for the purposes of this review. And thanks to absolutely everybody out there for watching. If this is your first time viewing my channel, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now and hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope I'll see you all again soon. Until next time, take care and I hope you have a wonderful day.